cargo ship crashes into a Baltimore bridge causing collapse. Here it is. All right, put it up full mass. Look at that. In Baltimore, a portion of Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed. It was struck by a large container ship early Tuesday morning, sending several vehicles and people into the frigid water. The bridge is used by 31,000 vehicles every day. The collapse happened after a large cargo vessel apparently hit one of the supports of the bridge around 1.30 a.m. Causing the structure to snap and buckle. Multiple vehicles plunged into the river after the impact. Um, it caused the roadway above to break apart completely. The vessel caught fire after hitting the support. So black smoke billowed out of it and also into the sky. So at a press conference on Tuesday morning, a Maryland governor, Wes Moore, said the operators of the ship issued a mayday call before the crash that took down the bridge, enabling authorities to curb vehicle traffic um, during that time. The ship lost power before it rammed into the bridge's uh, support. So they did have some level of warning prior. Baltimore Fire Chief James Wallace said two people had been rescued following the collapse. One was hospitalized and one was not, at least six others are still believed to be in the water. All eight, all eight were a part of the construction crew that was filling potholes. Baltimore's police commissioner, Richard Worley, told reporters early Tuesday, there was quote, absolute no, no indication the ship had hit the bridge intentionally. Maryland State Transportation Secretary Paul um, Wiedefield, Describing the catastrophic collapse, said, quote, we know there were individuals on the bridge at the time of the collapse working on the bridge, contractors for us, end quote. Uh, very sad, seemingly very random, um, and there's no evidence of foul play or malicious action or even negligence. Um, it looks like the power somehow um, was no longer operational and they did a May Day because now you can hit anything in front of you. And they did. Um, updates are coming. They're still naturally getting information out to family members, etc. Sharon thoughts here. Well, it's horrifying. It's gut wrenching to think about anybody who might have been on the bridge in the vessel um, and who's left out there dangling somehow and hopefully clinging to life. But the opportunity yeah. to be saved is dwindled. But I am struck, Doc, by the way, the local officials, the governor, the mayor, uh, the president, President Biden mm -hmm. working together to um, rally around this. And I'm mindful that if somebody else perhaps were the president, that would not happen. That's right. Uh, it would be chaos, argument, debate, personality-based, et cetera. You're right.